Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see one of the application of PLL which is used in the industrial purpose that is nothing but frequency multiplier. So let's begin with the topic. PLL is basically a control system that generates the output signal whose frequency is related with respect to the frequency of input signal. PLL can be used in the variety of application. Few applications are like FM detector, AM detector, FSK demodulator, ASK demodulator and frequency multiplier and division. In this video, we are going to understand how the PLL can be used for providing application of frequency multiplier. So let's begin with the block diagram of PLL as a frequency multiplier. When the external components are attached to the PLL circuit, the PLL can be used in the variety of application. So in the circuit diagram or in the block diagram, when divide by N network or a frequency divider network is connected between VCO output and phase comparator input, then the circuit of PLL is, can be used as an application that is frequency multiplier. Internally, PLL consists of four major blocks and the blocks are phase comparator or phase detector, low pass filter, amplifier and VCO. Phase detector having two inputs that is input signal with frequency FS and amplitude VS and the feedback signal am having amplitude V0 and frequency F0. The feedback signal is nothing but output from VCO. When a circuit of divide by N network or a frequency divider is connected between VCO output and phase detector input, then the output becomes FO by N. So these two signals are basically acts as an input to a phase detector in the circuit of frequency multiplier. The function of phase detector is to compare the two signals and it provides a voltage that is called as error voltage VE. So at the output of phase detector, we will have error voltage which is nothing but VE. This error voltage having voltage equivalent of phase difference between input signal and feedback signal. The voltage is further given to a block called as low pass filter where all the high frequency noise signal is get removed and only the low frequency component are get passed to the filter. So at the output of filter we will get ripple free DC voltage as output. This voltage is not enough to drive the system. Therefore, to provide the adequate amount of increase in the strength to the signal, the amplifiers are used. The output of the amplifier is now further given to a block that is called as voltage control oscillator. Voltage control oscillator is basically an electronic circuit which produces the output signal whose frequency can be vary with respect to the input voltage. So here, the voltage control oscillator provides output signal as N into Fs where n is multiplication factor. That means we can say the output of VCO is n times larger than the input frequency Fs. So the output of VCO is nothing but n Fs which is n times larger than the input frequency Fs. So this output is acts as an input to the next block that is nothing but divide by n network or frequency divider network. This is acts as a feedback network which is connected between VCO and phase comparator. Here the divide by N network is basically used to remove the component N present at the output of VCO. So divide by N network having signal as FO by N. This will act as a second input to the phase detector or comparator. So in this way the circuit of PLL can be converted into a frequency multiplier by using PLL. So I hope you understand the topic of frequency multiplier by using PLL. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.